and welcome back. My name is Maurizio Caporelli. I'm a process technician here at ITW TransTech. And I have about 34 years of experience with what I'm doing here with the ink process and um, decorating three-dimensional parts, whether it's plastic, wood, metal, whatever it is that's out there, we provide the inks here with the binder system to be able to transfer pigment and cure it onto your material with the speed that you're looking for with product um, quality. So this portion of the video is to show you, well, how do we know when an ink is actually working? Well, you have to go through some testing. The testing criteria is knowing what to do ahead of time with the ink mixing and, and to be able to test the ink that's on your product that you just printed. Now, what you have to do is obviously set some parts aside, whether you print maybe 10 of them and kind of make, you make yourself kind of like a matrix format to where you test some parts with different uh, temperatures and also uh, different times. Um, so we have UV type ink, uh, UV 2002, which works very well. We have a 401 ink that is also UV cured. It works real good. And those are cured instantly, but you still have to do some kind of chemical resistance to test them. So what we do is we use either methanol alcohol or 99% um, isopropyl alcohol, which you very easily would take like isopropyl alcohol. And if this were to be a UV printed part, yes, and I, and I do like to fold my towels in a nice square so you don't make a big mess and it's always easier to see your results. So if this was printed with UV type ink, I take my paper towel, I rub it about 10 times with some light pressure. And if there's nothing on the rag to the color of the ink, then you're good and there's nothing missing, nothing rubbed off. So pretty much this is chemical resistant with the UV being cured. Now the next step, and mind you, this is the same thing that you would do with a regular pet printing ink. Obviously with the pet printing ink, you have to give it more time. If you need less time to where you want to get to this point of results, you have to go with the highest temperature possible for the longest period of time of curing possible, which is maybe 10 minutes, 20 minutes, a half hour, or our drying tunnels, which they provide a minute to two minutes with forced hot air blowing onto the uh, decorated ink that's on your material, dissipating the solvents, curing the ink, and making that binder bond really well. So that might be something um, to remember. So now, after I wipe that off, it looks good. So now we'll do our tape test. Tape will allow you to see adhesion. So what we're doing is we're putting it right on top of the part, just like this. We rub it about eight to 10 times, and then we vigorously grab it at 90 degrees and rip it right off. You look at your tape, oh, perfectly clean, everything's on the part, you have some good adhesion. This part is pretty much cured. Now, of course, there's also a crosshatch test. I don't have the kit here, but you will score the ink with a crosshatch, and you do the exact same thing that I just did with the tape. You pull it off, and you look to see what it is that's left over, how, with the magnifying lens, write it down to the cuts of the blades to see how the ink survived the cut of the blade that the edge of the color or the ink that you put down is perfectly cut still right after my tape. If there's pieces of ink that have come off from those edges, then you know that there's still full cure that needs to be done and it's not really passing the cross edge. Okay. Um, so there we have chemical resistance and we have the adhesion. Uh, the, the, other, the other part is abrasion. So abrasion, there's been many different processes throughout the years, different companies making different equipment in order to do abrasion, like the RCA abrader tester, uh, there's been the, the Sony tester, and uh, what we do now is you pretty much take your fingernail, not calibrate at all really, you just have to scratch on it as hard as you can. Take a look at that, take a look at this, it passes, you're good. If 
the ink doesn't scratch. That's kind of like the test that we do here. Once the ink is cured, you can't scratch it, you can't alcohol uh, wipe it, and you can't tape it off. You're pretty much pretty good. And like I said, um, the binder system inside the inks, depending on the type of ink that you're using, you have to match that binder system of the type of ink. That's why we have PG type ink. That's why we have B type. That's why we have um, uh, W, different ratios of hardeners, different binders that attack different materials. Again, itwtranslac.com. You go on our website. You go and look at the different uh, formats of what we have as far as information and you will find that portion to where the ink material and of course these are all suggested materials that we've used in the past that's documented in there but it's always good for you to try yourself don't just say oh yeah past uh, b type ink past an abs you never know what you might have as far as uh, additives inside materials even like abs you know you, you might have a uh, high flammable resistant material that's been put in there or you know other uh, other mixes of silicone or something that's in there that will not allow your ink to stick well and that's when we might have to go to pre-treatment and that's why we have flame pre-treating we have corona spot pre-treating we have the full-blown corona and we also have plasma so sometimes like polypropylene polyethylene you need that preparation of the surface of the ink in order to get the uh, i'm sorry on the surface of the part in order to get that ink to bite very well and then you go through the same curing process depending on the ink that you're using all right i'd like to thank you very much for joining us at this portion of this video and i hope that you'll be able to make time again soon again my name is Maurizio Caporelli, and thank you very much for being here